how does the concept of Christianity reinforce the concept of panentheism? Christianity establishes the idea that loving one another is so important an issue it must become a major focus in one's journey through life. What more important reason could exist for this than the idea that perhaps loving actions actually stay within and affect God, the causative force, because she is truly omnipresent, panentheistic. Christianity says God found it so important to bring the concept of loving one another to this universe that he sent his son into the world to accomplish this task. As Buddhists imply, the existence of a causative force capable of feeling suffering. Christians imply the existence of a causative force capable of feeling love. In both cases, expanding the size of the causative force to true or full omnipresence could leave no place for the suffering and hatred we generate to go but into the causative force herself. Under panentheism, suffering and love are elevated to a new level of significance for the impact God, the causative force, herself, himself, itself. Buddhist and Christian religions gain new levels of purpose through the acceptance of a truly all-present causative force under a panentheistic perception of the size of the causative force. The concept of the causative force is one where the causative force transcends the universe. Then it is possible that the actions we take also transcend the causative force, which in turn gives us a sense of relief. Relief through believing that what we may not become, that what we do may not become a part of the causative force, so perhaps the bad things we do are not so bad after all. However, if the causative force is truly omnipresent, panentheistic, then our behavior and all of its ramifications have nowhere else to exist but within the causative force forever since the causative force is eternal. All of a sudden we find ourselves unable to isolate our actions from the causative force. Panentheism forces us into a state of responsibility for eternity itself. Then what of loving one another? Your actions become so important that the causative force might very well have found our actions as humans important enough to directly intervene with the direction our historically negative behavior was heading. The causative force may have decided to directly plant the seed of love. Not love based on conditions, but love given unconditionally to all. What does Christianity reinforce about the significance of existence, life? Christianity clearly states that awareness not only exists in this physical state, but exists in what is to follow, heaven. As such, love is a significant part of both. <clears throat> Under Christianity, what you do in this life becomes a part of your existence, becomes a part of your eternal awareness, becomes something that is etched into your sense of being for eternity. The Christians believe loving one another is so important that the causative force directly intervened to plant such an idea into our society. Hence, Jesus the Christ. This implies a significance for life. 
life within this physical reality must have immense significance to the causative force herself. Christianity states that the actions you take during life are not isolated from the causative force. They believe the results of your actions and beliefs will follow you into the afterlife. If this concept is correct, then can there be any doubt life is significant? If we apply the concept of omnipresence, full omnipresence, not partial omnipresence, as posited by classical theism, to the causative force, the Christian perceptions and life itself become very even more significant under a panentheistic all present size of the causative force. The universe has nowhere else it can exist but within the causative force. You and your actions become a part of God or the causative force. Under panentheism, actions generated by love not only exist within but actually have an impact upon God. If you return to an all-knowing force and become a part of that force, since you would be within her, you very well may obtain access to her knowledge. The result? You will not only be aware of what you did, but you may become knowledgeable enough to empathize with the effect it had on others. The ripple effect never stops. As the wave diminishes, the diameter of the circle increases. As if this isn't enough, not only might you be aware of your own actions and their ripple effects, but so would the causative force. Is it any wonder that the causative force might consider it necessary to intervene directly with the direction of abuse and inhumanity our species initiate? What greater meaning could life have than to actually impact the eternal existence of the causative force?